Dodgy crypto scam with sports stars as ambassadors. Sports stars such as Victor Matfield, Ursel Gibbs and Lucas Gadebe have helped to market a crypto scheme against which the authorities in several countries, including South Africa, are warning investors. Multi-level marketing company GS Partners promises investors returns of up to 22% per week if they purchase unique certificates as it calls meta certificates. I just want to know, why is Lucas Gadebe here alone? Where is Victor Matfield and Ursula Gibbs? Let's, let's, let's just bring pictures up of them. Gibbs, a former Protea opening batsman, says he, Matfield, and former Bafana Bafana captain Gadebe were hired by Jay's partners as ambassadors, but his own partnership with them has come to an end. On Friday, he said, I haven't been involved with them for some time and haven't heard anything, so I don't know what's happening with them. Matfield, a former Springbok rugby captain, said he did not believe it was appropriate for him to comment. We only marketed the event so that people would come and listen. I didn't expect this from him. Oh my goodness. <gasps> By the time of going to print, Gadebe could not be reached for comment. In November, the FCA warned South Africans to be careful when dealing with GS partners. Let's check. Let's check the warning that was put out by the FCA. This was the, uh, released the 22nd of November 2023. FCA warns the public against JS partners. The FCA warns the public to exercise caution when dealing with JS partners. It has come to the attention of the FCA that JS partners, also known as JSP or Gold Standard Partners, JS partners, are soliciting investments in South Africa. The FCA wishes to inform the public that several foreign jurisdictions have published warnings relating to JS partners. Below are links to some of these publications. Chess Partners is not licensed under any financial sector law to provide financial products or financial services in South Africa. The FCA is concerned about the unrealistic returns offered by JS Partners and is conducting a preliminary investigation into its activities in South Africa. The FCA has approached JS Partners for comment and the entity has until Friday 24th of November 2023 to reply. So I, I think they most probably have replied, seeing that, you know, um, no big deal. Oops, seeing that no big deal has been made about it. Members of the public should always check that an entity or an individual is authorized by the FSA to provide financial products and services, including for giving recommendations about how to invest. Do you guys see there about how to invest, including giving recommendations on how to invest? The game is changing and I'm really glad for that. What category of advice the person or entity is registered to provide as there are instances where companies or people are registered to provide basic advice for a low risk product and then offer advice on far more complex and risky products. The TFSP number utilized by the entity or individual offering financial services matches to the name of the FSP on the FSA database. One of the following methods may be used to confirm the status and FSP number of a service provider or a person that claims to be an authorized service provider. So here, there's a number that you guys can call. Guys, most importantly, there's a number that we can call 0800-110-443. There is a number that we can call, and this is highly, highly intuitive of them. I actually, like just want to give them a round of applause for that. I don't know if they had the number all along. We couldn't find them. It's so hard to find information, but the number is there. There is also the online search where you can search the numbers. And then um, you can also search for the FSP in terms of the FISE Act. And then here's all the other links of the international regulatory boards that has put out warnings on GS partners. So FCA, it seems like they are really pulling up their socks because they are even citing, they have never done this before, they are even citing previous um, warnings, right? They have like cited previous warnings, but not like where it's listed <laughs> like this. The company's investment opportunities are also offered under the names GS Pro and GS Digital Partners. It markets itself as an international platform which provides financial services and reward programs. These allow customers to earn returns on investments and receive referral bonuses. Guys, like I said in the past, we have seen with CFX, we have seen with MTI, we have seen with so many other investment companies, referral programs, uh -uh, that is most definitely where all of the nonsense starts because why are you being paid for getting people on board. Why is it so important that you get paid for getting people on board this investment scheme? I just need you to answer me that in the comment section.
please. The FACA said in a statement that GS Partners was not licensed to provide financial products or services in South Africa. It added that it was concerned about the unrealistic returns offered by GS Partners. In several international regulatory warnings, Joseph Hyde is referred to as the owner of GS Partners. According to a report published on the Forbes Australia website in August last year, Andrew Eaton from South Africa is a founding member of GS Partners and one of the scheme's five top earners. City Press's sister publication report approached Eaton for comment on the fact that GS Partners was not licensed to offer financial products or services in this country. In a long WhatsApp message, he wrote that the inquiry had been sent to the wrong individual. I'm a bit taken aback by the request and I think you sent it to the wrong person. I'm not a director or shareholder and I have no knowledge of what the company offers independent members. As a result, I'm unable to provide any insights or answer questions about third parties or foreign companies. Ethan pointed out that he had not been mentioned at all in the FCA statement and that he had not yet been contacted in connection with any investigation. He added that no official findings had yet been made against GS Partners and that the authorities' warnings had been made in preliminary statements. According to court documents in 2021, Ethan was one of five people, including Hyde, Tony de Gavea, Bruce Hughes and Brendan Herb Jones who sued the owners of a YouTube channel in the Durban High Court for defamation and loss of income. So if you weren't part and you are not a director or shareholder, why are you part of this big case member it just looks sus? So as you guys can see, you can't even nowadays trust companies that act like they are legit. I'm really going to need you guys in 2024 to be careful with your money. Do not just randomly invest in anything. And please, please go onto the FSA website. Give them a call. The number is available. And check with them. If the people that's claiming that they's FSA regulated to you, the people that's claiming they have an FSP number to you, phone and make sure that that is the case before you send your car to a mechanic you make sure that the mechanic is good before you go visit a doctor according your health you make sure that that person has cured people before before you go to court you go pick a lawyer that doesn't care how much money it is as long as that person have one cases i'm gonna need you guys to keep that same energy when it comes to your money i'll see you guys in my next video cheers